Okay, here's a question for you. The question that, that, that I have is, what do you bring to the table that adds disproportionate value to the time that you're giving your organization? So what I mean by that is, in one hour of focused activity in your, in your core competency, in the thing that you are world class at, what brings so much disproportionate value to the organization that it's you that there's stunning stunning results whatever that may be for you so I, another way to f ask that question is what are you world class at so if I lined a hundred of you up against the wall and you got a chance to step out of that lineup and look at those 99 what are you world class at that would put you in the in the top 10 percent or in the top one percent of, of of performers and to think about that deeply is what there's a lot of things that you do some of you are in very proactive situations as the CIO as the CISO and some of you are in very reactive environments doesn't matter uh, there's uh, obviously pros and cons with, with both however where of all of the things you're doing in your proactivity and your reactivity are you world-class at what it might be I mean I, I yesterday I had meetings and guys that uh, are complete transformation leaders um, and, and the one guy was says world class at data data analytics, and he truly is. Another guy is completely world class at at, uh, not, at project management, but not just project management, but like literally agile methodologies, software design rollout, failing fast, um, and, and and iterative design. I mean, he's world class at it. Uh, another guy is has been at his organization for years, and they're completely going to be disrupted by the airline industry and it's a 400 person co uh, company and so he's world class at he's got two patents to his name he's world class at, at algorithm development go figure well guess what exponential organizations of the future written by Salim talks about the role of the CIO in developing APIs and really understanding data data um, how you pull data from different sources aggregate it into in data sources and so it adds value to the business so this, and I just interviewed uh, the Experian CIO on my podcast. He talked about that and the value of microservices and the, and the value of, I mean, think about Experian, talk, think about data. They have all sorts of data, but they have a complete innovation lab dedicated to data. So wherever, another gentleman I met with is world-class, he's as a world-class EQ. So EQ is emotional intelligence. And, and so that's a very unique differentiator in today's market because if you're a digital transformation leader, if you are a CIO, VP of IT, it doesn't matter it's, it, what your title is. However, if you are great with people, then you can foster an amazing culture. And culture gives speed. Culture gives uh, a fearlessness. Because if you have a culture of being afraid, you're constantly triggering the amygdala of people around you and they're dancing like a cat on a hot roof, like it is in, in um, 100 degrees here in, in our area. If you're a cat in a hot roof, you're constantly dancing about. You can't settle because people are afraid. But if you bring complete emotional intelligence to the table and you can help as a leader to, to be, uh, uh, this guy called himself, he's been called the CIO of the people. So whatever it is you're world class at, identify that. Make that, just, just remember that and just put it at the top of the pyramid. And then how can you go even more deeply in that? And then don't overemphasize the vulnerabilities. Like, just map a couple that you want to improve upon. And what I mean by that is, like, we're having offense. We're having a offense CIO session next month, and I'm bringing in the top the top guy at SCIC to talk about finance. He's world class at finance as the CIO as the financial leader. So he's really strong with that. He's coming in to talk and educate and learn. Now everybody in the room is there. It's, it's a packed room. To learn as well are they going to become world-class no they just want it less of a vulnerability so not all of the things that you're going to want to tackle to make all these vulnerabilities super strong and world-class but you, you got to identify where you're soft and where you need to, to, to build up so that's my thesis for today a little bit of offense a little bit of defense and um, hopefully you find this valuable thank you